Okay, today we are going to have fun with nine track tapes and you have almost my entire collection and I have four of them and three of them out of four work tonight so that's a good day so I'll uh, try to use them all uh, that's the grand idea of them all and the most precious uh, that's the HP uh, 7970 uh, the whole 140 pounds of it um, we'll start actually with the more modern HP uh, which uh, is auto load this one is spectacular and here we have smaller tape uh, my uh, Qualstar which used to work uh, you have a video of it on my Mac but it's not cooperating tonight and this interesting uh, overland uh, I'll, sh I'll tell you why it's uh, so interesting that's a parallel port one all right so let's get going so the, uh, the HP is a riot to see load, um, there we go, so new old tape and because it's an auto load thing, right, so you put it in there, you close it and then you watch it do and uh, you can hear the vacuum came on or the, or the air pressure came on and it's going to try to feed the tape all by itself. Let me see if I can show you. So rotates it a couple of times. Found the beginning. And it slurps the tape. Gets it around the capstan. Sucks it by vacuum on the reel. finds a load point, hopefully. It's not having so much of a chance. Oh, here we go. And there you go. It's at bot beginning of tape. I think that's an amazing loading mechanism. So, uh, we are the wrong density here since, uh, so this, this is natively a 6250 uh, byte per inch, but we want a um, lower density so I can read it on my older tapes uh, so we'll go to 1600 online okay so let's try to write something on it so the difficulty with this tapes is as much with the software as it is with the hardware you know, those things are so old there is no driver for this thing from modern OS so fortunately uh, I got the help of a few friends here and uh, John Wilson has written a utility called ST, works under pure DOS uh, and that's to write and this is an old uh, diagnostic tape that I need uh, to, uh, for my HP 2000 um, and, uh, which is hiding back there over there and uh, that's why I need the tape so let's see if this will do. Off we go. All right. Well, and this seems to do something. So it's writing, and uh, this is a particularly annoying tape. It's a very old diagnostic tape from the 1970s, actually the early 19, the, the late 1960s. And, and it uh, originally was a paper tape so it's a collection of little paper tape things with super small records so it has to do it record by record and they're minuscule so it goes back and forth and back and forth so this is a streamer tape it's not made to do those small records at all on a slow computer you're supposed to get it going for backups you don't want to be in a hurry when you <laughs> write those things <laughs> record by record all right it's done it rewinding yes all right Happily done. So I'm going to read it back and make sure I didn't uh, have
have any air on the tape. So here's the inverse operation, it's an I get instead of being an I put. Hopefully I got it right. And see it's reading, well that's a good sign. Okay. And that's reading using the buffer so it goes way faster. It's reading big chunks at a time. Alright, done. So I was a lot faster to read than to write as expected. And when you get it streaming, this step really goes and I mean, the rewind speed is pretty darn good. Okay, let's do a little um, offline and load. Open wide, there we go. Okay, I'll we'll see if that tape was okay. Okay, I compared the two files and it tells me they are identical. So, pretty cool. It seems to have written a new diagnostic tape. I don't know if we can see anything in real text here. Uh, compare, there we go. Series HP Series 2100 Power Fail Diagnostics. So this seems to be the right thing. So now that we have created a known good tape, uh, we're going to use it to do what I really want to do is see if I can read it on this magnificent fellow, which is an HP. 7970. See if I can open it for you. There you go. So that's why it's on its 2x4s. And so this is uh, vintage 1974, I think. Uh, this used to cost a fortune. And you can tell why. These are the, the motors, and here are the read circuits and uh, tachometer. It's just a beautiful unit um, and this one is an HP ID so it has this plug that uh, looks like a parallel port but it's not a parallel port it's not a printer port it works only on HP equipment okay let me demonstrate uh, if I can load it up this one is a royal plane to thread the tape and to need lots of it and there's a little diagram here that you have to follow it tells you under over this is a tension arm then under this guy it has a little thingy over there that clamps the tape it goes out the other way uh, around the capstan over here uh, and then over here on the top of the tension arm and then back down and then here and I have never enough tape for it so what this time I do and then you want to go in here and try to not make a mess of it there we go Alright, I should do. And then you hit load and you watch it do. There you go. It's loaded. So this one is much harder to get going because of its interface and HPIB, so I have to find an old ISA HPIB card which took my ISA port over here and then uh, get the help uh, from uh, Ansgar Kugas in uh, Berlin, Germany 
uh, to write the software for it and uh, he uh, is a specialist of all the HP equipment and actually this is the first time we ever test this software on a real HP uh, 7970 so this is all uh, beta experimental software and he just sent me a version today that uh, seems to work and a one and a two and a three and it's not working I know why it's not working because it's not online so let's put it online there you go oh so here it is reading it so you can see it's reading record by record and the tension arms are uh, you know, adjusting the tension uh, when the tape starts and stops. All right, it's done. So after it's done, you just take it, you just do reset over here, rewind. and it will reload it here and you just do another rewind and it will unload it there you go we give a hand to the 7970E from the 70s Okay, so we'll now jump to a, uh, another tape here, a more modern one uh, that was at the transition between mainframes and PCs. So this one was actually kind of reasonably priced and meant to uh, be lower performance things, just to mostly read data in. I like it very much. It's much easier to load than my call star. So this is an overland de data. See, it just loads in a couple. So this one has a nice locking door. And let's load it. See how it goes. So this is now a microprocessor controlled one um, with servo motors. So I see it tries a little bit very carefully and it tries faster. Then you must have seen the beginning of tape mark. Maybe. Try to get to it. Okay, well that didn't work so well. <laughs> Try again. Okay, what did I do wrong? It's unhappy it failed the previous load. There isn't that much that can go wrong with this thing. It's so simple. I'm not a good tape operator yet, you can tell. I probably want it too much. Let's try that again. Blue.
Okay. Ah, there you go. This time it loaded. So this tape is quite interesting because it has two interfaces to it. It has a Pertec one and it has one that I didn't quite know what it was. Uh, no, it looked like a serial interface. But it's a parallel port. So you don't even need an interface card like a Pertec card to uh, get it going, which makes it really easy to deal with. And it has actually a user interface here. See option, utilities, view tape. And let's see if it gets it going. Yeah, there we go, it's reading. And here we go, it read it. So it can uh, we can read several blocks and we'll just keep it going as we keep reading and you see what this is actually made of it's really made of super small blocks um, and we'll we'll see later on so this this was a paper tape before uh, oh you can see which machine it's made for for the HP 2116 so this is no 1969 computer and the 21 MX that's the one I have back there uh, so it's really it's nice it, uh, with that drive so I can explore the tape really easily and it keeps reading it and it's very silent so I really like this uh, tape unload unload oh online unload there you go Uh, it doesn't rewind anywhere as fast as the uh, big HP tape. It'll get there eventually and smart enough to figure out that it was at the end. And unlock the door. Okay.